All right, welcome to part three of trying to get injury prevention in for mechanical knee pain when you're returning to sport and exercise. Now, a lot of people going back to the gym very, very soon. And of course, a lot of people out there still running and increasing their running. With the step up, that happens in personal training, happens in the gym, happens in step class, happens when you're going upstairs. Now, if you're training this in the gym, what you've got to look out for, again, what is that knee doing, okay? But the biggest thing that'll come out of a step up is the hip control. Now, this is where you can really find out what your hip strength is like and what your control is like. And can you actually do this with a level pelvis? So if Claire had a weak left hip, what may happen is her knee may roll in a little bit. But also, her hip will drop when she steps up. Okay, so she'll drop and then she'll try and compensate and lift it up. So when she stands, it'll drop and then she'll try and hitch it up here. So the level of the pelvis will change from stepping up, it'll drop down, and then when she comes up, it'll come up like that, or stay down, which is bad as well. But that, starting in that position there, where she's, if she's down in that position, okay, it's sort of at a mechanical disadvantage already. It's pretty hard to maintain a knee alignment position that's correct if your hip has already dropped down to here, it's at a disadvantage, okay? So this is where we've got to try and get a level pelvis to start with. So if you can correct that yourself, maybe it's just a motor pattern issue and a technique thing that you've been doing forever and you just need to change it. And if you can correct that, you'll have a better chance of keeping that knee out and that kneecap sitting over the middle of your foot, all right? If you can't change it, that's where the strengthening work is gonna come in with the physio, the single leg, glute work that is gonna be done to try and improve how well she sits. So if you have us jump up on that box. So her ability, if, you, if she drops down there, that's the weakness part. So her ability for that left side to strengthen up and keep that up is what we're gonna work on so she can maintain that the entire way. So she keeps a level pelvis, see where her two hands are? If that stays level, when she drops back down again, then we know she's got good hip control. If it come up again, if it drops, as soon as she bends, if it drops this way, you know she's got some weakness going on there. So that's something that you can see in the gym. If you've got mirrors in front of you in one of those classes, you can see it happening there. And it's something to look out for because that is the precursor to how people get injured, mechanical stress pain through the knee, even through the hip as well, when they go out running, when they do more classes with load, longevity, like you might see this when you start the gym next week. And then four weeks later is when the pain starts. Okay, so if you can spot this now, you'll end up, you'll, you'll stop yourself getting injured as much down the track. And especially when those load things happen like running, if you haven't started running yet and you've got this issue, that's when you may run into problems down the track. So if you've got that, see if you can correct it yourself. Look for those tips, look for those balances of the hip, look for the knee rolling in and out. And if you can't get that right, get to the physio, get the exercises done to sort that out.